Good morning, how do you do? We've got something special for you. It's just for fun, it's just for kicks. It's time for the Super Touching. Number six, looking for a new job this year. Here's something to keep in mind. Managers spend four seconds looking at your resume. This is according to recruiters mm. who read thousands of resumes each year. They're looking for three main things. Your current job title and is it similar to the role they're looking to fill? They're also looking at the name of the company where you're currently working or the place where you most recently work. And finally, your summary or a list of bullet points of your top skills. So according to the experts, those three things should be your main focus. Well, that seems to kind of make sense. Well, yeah, yeah. but that, that summary always seems so stupid. Yeah. I, I am it, seeking it out, yeah, Lyman, right, and yeah. I show my assets yeah. of know, uh, yeah. right. interpersonal I am, skills. I am goal-oriented <laughs> and yeah. driven, and I, I am yeah. a change maker and a difference maker. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, number five. If it's adorable, we'll put it on TV, and this is pretty cute. Oh, come on. Yeah, the footsie blanket. It's a heart-shaped cherry red blanket. It's got a secret hidden uh, pocket at the bottom, and it's the perfect spot to tuck your feet into. Oh, and oh look at this. You can play a little footsie oh, while you're down there with your leather. Wrap you up like a burrito. Yeah, here's the thing. It's made for two. But of course, if you're single, then it's got even more room for you just to keep your nice feet by themselves and cozy while yeah. you're settling in on the couch with a box of wine, your favorite rom-com. You can find it at, uh, this is called the Snuggle Up Footsie Blanket. You can find it on uncommongoods.com. Here's the best thing. It's only $148. Oh, come on. You can't buy love, but this is pretty close yeah. to it right wow. there. Wow. Mm. What a bargain. All right, number four, it's soup season. But did you ever wonder how long opened, uh, o how long opened store-bought chicken stock can last in your fridge? I don't believe a year, probably, Turns right? out it can last for three to four days. Oh, yeah. stop. This three is to according to the U.S. Department of Agriculture. If you cannot consume that broth within four days, you need to transfer it to a freezer-safe container and store it. The broth can also... Uh, go between two and three months in the freezer. It's, That's it. Liquid. Tell us How what bad can it be? I gotta side with Paul on this yeah. one. Let it ride. It's milk. Come on, three to four days. This is it. The government telling you yeah. how long you can eat your yeah. soup. How did <laughs> you get to this soup point? People right? are in cahoots. Yeah, <laughs> trying to get us to buy more soup. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Uh, don't Those buy it. Deep pocket soup companies. <laughs> yeah. oh, you're telling me. <laughs> you see them all the time, the big fat cat oh. soup guys. Well, Campbell's has had senators in their pocket yeah. for decades, yeah. Larry. You know this, yeah. Mr. We... Backstory. You know all about it. Uh -huh. Can we yeah. use cahoots more, too? Yeah. I really had great that. Word. That was nice. Yeah. Yeah. You heard nice. it here first. Word. Yeah. You're welcome. Uh, uh, Number three, all week long, we're looking at some of the most popular rental properties on Airbnb. This is Casa Barthel in Florence, Italy. Wow. It's a one bedroom, one bath tree house designed for just two guests. So if you've got a family, this isn't the place for you. All right. Uh, but if you're looking for a little romance, uh, this place is a good location. According to the Airbnb description, it's perfect for a couple's getaway uh, or art artist residency, sure. maybe. Yeah, yeah. It's about 20 minutes from the famed Duomo which is, you know, basically Florence's city center. Right. The treehouse is also on a property with a swimming pool, Ooh. a tennis court, and lots of olive trees. So if you love olives, mm -hmm. you yeah. have unlimited, all you can eat Amazing, olives. Yeah. Uh, it can be yours for around only 250 oh. bucks a night. That's actually yeah. pretty reasonable. Well, who's living in the main house, though? Because you're, this <laughs> right. is on it's the front. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You don't know. Yeah. You don't know. Oh, yeah, you could sleep outside. There was an outdoor bed. <laughs> nice. Mm, everything you could ask for there. All right, number two, uh, ranchers in South Africa came up with a clever way to protect their livestock from lions and other predators. <laughs> here's what they do. They're painting eyeballs on the cow's butts. Huh. Uh, and here's why it works. Lions are known to ambush their prey. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, but they'll often call off the hunt if they see their prey is staring back at them. <laughs> yeah. So the livestock scientists recently tested the theory and they found that cows with artificial eyeballs on their butt sides yeah. were significantly more likely to survive yeah. than unpainted cows. Boy, if you can make yeah. those wink, you really get yeah. some yeah. skills. Well, I was able to do it with the ones I painted on yeah, mine. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> but it took yeah. a different skill yeah. set yeah. than I'm willing to discuss right now. Yeah. Also. Huh. 
Uh, number one, a woman recently shared her story on TikTok in the health novel. Uh, she went to dinner at a Brazilian steakhouse with a group of friends. All right. A few people left early and vowed to pay their portions of the bill later. So when the bill came, the remaining guests had to pay $150 a person. Uh, the woman refused. She says she only ate around $25 worth of food, so she put in $50. Uh, thoughts on splitting the bill? It's uh, one thing to pay a little more, but $125 more? Yeah. Aren't those steakhouses a set fee? Those Brazilian steakhouses yeah. are generally... Right. If you go in there and have a salad... We're leaving, we'll pay later. Yeah. Who lets their friends out the door <laughs> yeah. Right. with that? Yeah. And I don't know. I think, don't you just work that into your budget that you can split it equally, you know? And yeah. that means maybe it's just a call to drink up a little bit. If you this know you're going to be paying yeah. an equal amount, just, you know. And I talk about this on stage. This is why I don't go out with people anymore. <laughs> yeah. It's bad enough they take 45 minutes to order. Yeah. No, it's a headache. Yeah. <laughs> this is one other wrinkle I got to worry yeah. about. Yeah. Yeah. I go in with my wife. We're in and out. 50 minutes. Yeah. That's with it appetizer. Yeah. How romantic. Right? Listen, yeah. buddy. Yeah. Come on. We need him over. Like you're sitting over there gazing into your wife's eyes over yeah. a bottle of wine. Yeah. Stop. You can do this at home. Let's yeah. go. Come on. Well, that's a six and six. Yeah. You're welcome. You can do it at home for half the price.